Okay, so at this point, Kanye is crazy, to be honest. Okay, chill. I'm actually joking. Kanye is not crazy. I don't agree with some things he says, a lot of things he says, but he actually has great points. Let's watch this video and see what Candace and Kanye has to say regarding wearing the White Lives Matter shirt. And also comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. And I'm just going to give you a, a live reaction and let me know, let you guys know what I think. Okay, so Kanye West, who now goes by Ye West, of course, you guys, unless you've been hiding under a rock, know the story. He and I in Paris at his Yeezy fashion sh show wore t-shirts that said White Lives Matter and broke the internet. Actually, the morning after when... Yeah, so that was at the Ye Season 9 show. And a lot of people were really angry about that. And people were still angry about it. Well, Kanye, just you guys just watch and see what happens. I saw him. He said, should we respond to it? I actually were thinking that we should just say nothing about it and just appreciate the art of the response, right? He is, among other things, a fashion designer and an artist. And so it was fun to really appreciate that the response was the art. The response that we knew we were going to get was a commentary on society, of course, because for years we were told that saying Black Lives Matter was not divisive, saying Black Lives Matter was not a form of Black supremacy, saying Black Lives Matter was a righteous thing to say. People were, of course, then okay with people that said Asian Lives Matter, because of course this <laughs> phrase is not divisive. You can just insert any, except for white. I don't know what happened there, but those same individuals, I mean, I really don't know why. I'm not angry because he put White Lives Matter, but the point he's trying to make makes a lot of sense because a lot of people are actually hypocrites and, man. Schools completely flipped. Suddenly it became an expression of white supremacy. It was not inclusive at all. It wasn't saying anything. It needed to go. And I was comfortable to just allow people to scream and to shout and to appreciate the art in it. Uh, but then Kanye decided that it was time to say something because he's not just an artist, right? He is more than that. He has always been more than just an artist and a rapper and a producer and a fashion designer. And he went on Tucker Carlson last night. Now, you remember that everyone's been telling you that he's completely insane, that he just does things, that there's no... So the, Kanye actually had an interview with Tucker Carlson. And if you guys actually watch the Genius uh, the documentary on Netflix you would know how important this was for Kanye because his friends actually, in the documentary, when they recorded Kanye, Kanye's, Kanye's friends or his family or people around him thought that uh, Tucker Carlson was actually making fun of Kanye or just putting down Kanye, but he was actually agreeing with Kanye. So it's for them to actually meet together and have an interview was actually really amazing. I'm, I'm pretty sure Kanye actually loved it. The thought behind it. And you, if you watched this segment on Tucker Carlson, got a very different version of Ye West. Take a listen. So you just came from Paris Fashion Week. You just landed in yeah. your lanyard and still on from it. And there's a photograph on it. What is that? It's a photograph of a baby's ultrasound. Why is that? And that you designed that? Yes. Why? What does that mean? Uh, it just represents life. I'm pro-life. Boy, so you wear it on a badge. What what kind of response do you get? And, and good, amen, I agree. I don't care about people's responses. I care about the fact that there's more black babies being aborted than born in New York City at this point. That 50% of black death in America. That's honestly, that's one thing I really liked about Kanye. Kanye doesn't hold back from the truth. Although some things he says are actually wrong, he may not be perfect or whatever, but what he's saying right now is facts and is the truth. He doesn't care about what other people are saying, no matter whether the cancel culture or whatever, he says the truth and sticks to it. And he's confident in it. That's what I really like about Kanye. Is abortion. So I really don't care about people's responses. I perform for an audience of one and that's God. Yeah, that my favorite response, because I kept on thinking like, you know, people, they're looking for an explanation and people say, well, as an artist, 
you don't have to give an explanation, but as a leader, you do. Yes, I think that's right. So the answer to why I wrote White Lives Matter on a shirt is because they do. It's the obvious. And that's a fact. White lives do matter. I don't know. See, the thing is, this situation is kind of tricky. It really depends on how much information or where you get your information from or the news. But there's actually going to be a Candace Owens is actually going to make a documentary, which is releasing on Wednesday, which I'm looking forward to. I'm pretty sure people are looking forward. It's about Black Lives Matter matters at like the organization itself. Like obviously Black Lives Matter, but the organization itself is actually very evil and trying to destroy not only black lives, but destroy society. They're against the normal family structure. Like they just stole money. One of the founders, I don't remember her name, but she basically bought houses and she was exposed for that with the black, like with the like funds, donations for Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. So it just doesn't make any sense. Thing. Amazing incredibly measured and profound. And it's profound in its simplicity, right? They do, it is true. White lives matter, black lives matter, Asian lives matter, all lives matter. And unfortunately we live in a society that is unwilling to admit that it is a form of racism when you're only angry when you say white lives matter, right? You, it, it is such a strange time to live in that people think that they are legitimate in treating white people as if they're not allowed to speak in society anymore. And how profound and how. It's actually crazy how people are getting offended over. It just doesn't make any sense, to be honest. Measured is he in wearing this lanyard and speaking to under this understanding that what we do matters only to God. Right. And what is happening in black America is a form of genocide. What is happening in terms of the abortion industry and its deep history. Uh, related to eugenics and Margaret Sanger and Planned Parenthood, actually targeting black families. What is happening is unacceptable. It is such a cultural moment that he has the courage to go on Tucker Carlson and to hold the line and not to completely collapse because people on the left are basically demanding that he become silenced. They no longer want him. The people in fashion, we covered this yesterday, Gigi Hadid, the big models are basically saying, he needs to go, he's just a bully. Yeah, because of this situation, so many, like, it just keeps on happening to Kanye. I mean, previous times, like, it really, but this one is different. And funny thing is, like, it's just, man, this situation is just very, and what everything that's going on on Kanye's, I don't agree with his Instagram post, to be honest. It just looks, it's kind of childish, to be honest. I don't like it. It's just like it's it's like something for probably like your close friends or close family members. I don't know what he's doing on Instagram, posting text messages. And it's just kind of weird. I don't know what he's doing there. But in terms of like him standing up for like and calling out, like calling Black Lives Matter a scam, the actual organization, not Black Lives Do Matter, just repeating again. But the actual organization is a real scam. They do not care about black lives. It's only when it like this police brutality or something. They do not care about black lives. They only care about their own agenda, the alphabet agenda. And that's the only thing they care about. People were completely silent, right? About the fact that people are describing as mentally ill. Imagine describing a black man who has the courage to speak out on the death industry that is abortion as just somebody that's mentally ill and disturbed, right? That's not a form of racism, but they've remained silent on those topics and they only wanna speak out because he wore a t-shirt that says white lives matter. Really, really think about what that says about the state of things in America. Moving on, it is, I, I actually can't even believe what I'm about to share with you. It's incredible. If you wanna talk about black America, in the context of what Democrats believe to be. Yeah, so guys, that's basically it. Let me know what you guys think on this situation. 
Do you think that Kanye should have done that, or should he have done something else? Do you think that he should actually be like? I get his point in terms of like the message he's trying. I mean, Kanye always does stuff for shock value, and he's trying to make a point about this, like Black Lives Matter is a scam. Do you think he should have taken this approach, or he should just have created posts, or just probably just spoken about it? on like social media or create like uh, an event or something but yeah let me know what you guys think make sure you subscribe like this video i'll definitely be making more videos and more reactions if you have any videos you like me to react to just comment it down below and uh follow me on instagram as well and i'll see you guys next video peace